Pioneer Pro Tour. I'm excited. I like Pioneer. I'm I'm excited because I like Pioneer, and I'm excited to see more people play it now because it's going to be in the spotlight. Right. So we're revealing a Chancellor to start the game. So stream being going to start with some goblins. One goblin. Or one goblin, excuse yeah. me. Starts with an extra permanent. He doesn't really want to have Chancellor in hand, but getting a free extra permanent is nice, especially if he has the Cascader, which I'm pretty sure he has Outburst. So if he, if he goes something like, ooh, Thought Seize, <laughs> he's just going to show him the Outburst. Oh, he got a second one. Oh, okay, that's redundant. what you call an insurance policy. Yeah, redundant to the hand disruption, and he has a Colony Garden and a Wave Sifter. So this is a pretty gross hand. He does need a red source. We do not have deck lists. The players don't have to submit deck lists. It's just a modern FNM. But if our players are nice enough and you join the Discord and ask them in the uh, appropriate channel, they will probably link you their deck list. You had to go and buy Winotas. It's going to get banned. What are you talking about? Why would you buy Winota? No, I'm just kidding. I uh, I don't know a whole lot about Pioneer, but I know that Control is like... Blue-white Control is really good. Yeah, blue-white Control. I played really it, good. I played a league, my first ever league of Pioneer today. I went 3-2. I played three blue-white Control with Yorion. They all had Yorion and two Nia Winota. Yeah, so the, the blue-white Control list is an 80-card list. Uh, the stock list is. Oh, okay. I've seen a bunch that weren't. So I, I, and uh, and Todd Anderson was saying that the he thought the without Yorion was the better list, but I personally agree with him. Um, I was looking at the eighty card list. That's the kind of, you know, main list, the stock list that's out there, and I immediately was looking at it like, yeah, I would probably cut, 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 and go down to sixty. Yeah. Yeah, I think Wave Sifter was a good take. You're not going to stop him from outbursting if he draws the land, and Wave Sifter just lets his glimpse be really, really strong. Damien's off to a pretty fast start. That's an early 3 3 shadow. Damien's at 10. There's a creature. That's an instant. And there's a sorcery. So that's a delirious uh, and, DRC as well. And he has another fetch land here. So he can crack Robert for 9. Robert does not want to have to jump with that plant. That plant is everything right now. <laughs> if Damien has dressed down, he could just hit Robert for not not 16 because DRC would get turned off. It would be 14. Oh. Yep, fetch shock. Down to 7. Make that shadow a 6-6. Six, six, hit Robert for 9. And Robert scoops it up. Didn't find the land, I think. Oh, Damien had two more lands in hand. Ooh. Yeah, that would make the Shadow a 9-9 nine, nine next turn. Okay, Robert's going to play. How many mulligans did he take? Did he go to five? Five. That's pretty brutal. We are located in Caldwell, Ohio. If you're anywhere near, it's worth the trip to come say hi. We'd love to have you. If you let us know you're coming, we'll do something fun. Yeah, come down for uh, for one of the competitive 1K pluses. Bobble. <laughs> Stream me says, pick up the card yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Big group of us coming Sunday. Hell yeah. How, That's so awesome. How many is big group? What do you define as a big group? Are you guys registered already? Yeah, make sure you register because there's... We're down to about 20-ish left. We're 40 in the mid-40s now. Actually, I haven't checked in a while. Get that signed token. What token? Seven or eight. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. That's so exciting. Costa Rica's a bit far away. Just make a nice planet uh, vacation to Caldwell, Ohio. Yes. 
It'll be peaceful, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it, it won't be much going on. <laughs> uh, we'll show you why we're the smallest county in Ohio. <laughs> Endurance. Bye-bye, Shardless. Yeah, that was very funny. I tried to be funny. <laughs> Get the sh um. Wait, why is the Charlotte and exile? Oh, he pitched it to endurance. Yep. So. Gotcha, because it would have been taken anyways. So he did that. Damien, cycle the street wraith. Prison reef enters. Get a land. Okay. String Bean needs to draw a Cascader and needs Damien to not have counter magic. Bobble, surveil that land into the yard. Look at you, your card. <laughs> you won't touch it. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Savage. So funny. Oh, that camera's not, not very good. Extreme beans like, draw your card. <laughs> Look how nice our players are. Attack you for one. Prisoner of Beats. Crack, Crack Clue. Yep. Trying to draw a Cascader. TJ smiling. TJ is having fun playing Magic. What? Nah, can't happen. Can't happen. Bobble again. Double surveil. If it's not perfect, Damien, you've been it. Yeah, a card has to be really good to not. With double surveil, you, yeah, you're, to you're not just pitching. get the full value of filling up your graveyard. I love it. Every time. Oh, there it is. Drown in the Lock Mana open for Damien, and it looks like he has it. I believe that is the... Um, But that's not going to do it, though. He only has two cards in a graveyard. Oh, wow. Well, it can get the Glimpse. The Glimpse, okay. Yeah, glim right, because that's what you would counter anyways. Drown, oh, Drown always counters the Cascade, the uh, Suspend spells. Right. Arch just goes for a Fury hard cast. And very smart playing around that uh, Drown right there. And he's got a Chancellor in his hand and one mana away from casting it. Did he, down the eight. did he get his Risen Reef trigger? Yeah, he did. He drew a card. Okay. Yep. Very interesting spot. The Chancellor doesn't have haste itself, but it makes two hasters. And this um, this DRC has to attack. So Robert could actually steal this game. He would have lethal if he uh, can just play land and slam this Chancellor if Damien doesn't have anything. Yeah, that the drama in the lock though, Taryn. If he leaves it up, could get rid of a creature. Oh, and Holy Heat will take care of the. Okay. Yep. Oh, Chancellor's only a 5-5, five, five, actually. But Damien, knowing that Stringbean has the Cascader in hand, is not going to go... He's not going to let the two mana, you know what I mean? Now, if 
string bean has two cascaders in hand that would be kind of crazy Got land but that's a goblin dark dweller N no that's a chancellor on the bottom what is that it's outburst chancellor outburst land. chancellor okay sorry Fetch. Oh, change your own life total. You just jam the chancellor here, don't you? Yeah, I think you have to. You get two tokens. Yeah. Number of creatures you control. They have haste, get in for three. Down to four. String being sitting at seven. Gonna get hit by three in the air. So down to four. So if uh if string being like say he didn't go for the Chancellor, if Damien pops that fetch, he could go he could combo off right now right i don't think damien would though sometimes people are just that's kind of a tough thing to be aware of is like in step yeah crack my fetch and a habit of always in step fetching like he had that happen to him though yeah on uh, stream yeah, I remember that yep dash and a ragavan here i looks like we got ragavan drown maybe two drowns and I, I don't know what that blue card is. No, so just putting Ragavan down as a potential blocker. Yeah, I mean, he'll live at one if Robert That's doesn't have a way to get that last bit of damage through. Robert has a block himself now, though. What cascader is that that he has? Oh, it's, it's, so it's the it's the instant one. Okay. Yeah. Housekeeper says maybe it's spell pierce. Floating mana. I think that is spell pierce. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna force the drown. Oh yeah, that's a a giant, not a not a dragon. It's not a flyer. So Damien can chump the chancellor. There's the drown with the surveil trigger. Oh, actually, out the outburst gives his board one plus one plus zero. That's that's lethal. Right. Okay, he has second drown. Right. So the second drown is going to remove a creature. No, it's he's, oh he's countering both. Yeah, yeah, counter both. Okay, that makes sense. Even removing a creature wouldn't um, wouldn't do it because two creatures, right? Two two ones would be lethal. Double drown and lock, brutal. So, I wanted us to go to a game three. This is tough. Like, um, he only goes to one though on the swing back. He yeah, just he, has to leave a. Okay, attack with just the ragavan. This saves him from another dash ragavan. He scoops. Oh. The DRC can't get there. Wow. Gonna die on the back swing. So we are going to game three. We love Legacy. I we I love Legacy too. We still play it on Saturday evenings. Yeah, I'm not saying it's like super inherently bad thing, but that might not be, you know, every player's cup of tea. And that's I'm glad that Pioneer Ooh. is there is like Leyline for Robert, which is a permanent and stops the thought seizes and inquisitions. Yeah, it'd be kinda interesting to see if he like chooses to uh 
sacrifice because he gets to choose right how many or is it every right you no i think it's every i believe it's every little glimpse all permanents you yep. own yep but if it gets to the point where he is casting a glimpse and it's you know it served his purpose up to that point I right. bib says pioneer looks interesting i hope Winoda gets banned Winota's like really strong, but I think blue white is the best deck in the format. Yeah, Winota's very beatable. I mean, it, it's kind of tough if you're just trying to be like a, a fair creature right. deck to not just get absolutely destroyed by Winota, but you've got to you, you can't go into Pioneer not playing some sort of interaction though. Um, if you are not interacting with Lotus Field, Jeskai Ascendancy, and Winota, you are going to lose to those decks. You have to have something to stop them all. Yeah, I built blue red prowess for uh, Pioneer, and I did the curse of Shaken Faith, or whatever, for like the combo, and then rending volley for Winota. I apologize, chat. Here we're we're not. I get sidetracked talking about Pioneer and. Not even talking about the match that's going on, but it looks like we might get a a possible um, cascade here from String Bean. Yeah, he's got. Is it Agent? Nox. Yeah, uh, playing. I've been playing uh, Salt Eye Control Delirium, and I was main decking Ashiok because there were three to four players playing. Uh, Playing Lotus Field in the shop. So Damien has uh, the drown for this glimpse. Glimpse will be countered. Robert still has his permanence intact. Now has a blocker for Ragavan, though. Robert's just on two lands, though. We do have to talk about the new Esper Charm at some point tonight, too. Obscura Charm. Yeah. Is it up on Scryfall? That card has me excited. I I could be wrong, but I think that card might make Teferi little T3, uh, might make T3 ridiculous more than it already is. I personally, I would disagree. I don't think it's... I think that's a very niche case that won't be used very often if the card's even played at all in modern anyways. I just think it... it Wait, he can't even cast... It's target himself. I mean, he doesn't have to discard, does he? Yes. If oh, it, you do. If it resolves, you got to pick something. Okay. I mean, you might literally have nothing to pick, but okay. We're going to allow some little, some takesy backsies here. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you go to cast something in like MTGO and you realize you don't want to target or don't have a target, um, you, you can press the cancel the, button. Right. But... And you haven't revealed information to your opponent. Yeah, although he is in this case kind of revealing it saying I'm casting this but you got to declare targets as you cast and And so we're inquisitioning ourselves for the surveil triggers. And I think he's probably going to get the thought season in hand. Is that what the other one is? Probably just going to take his own thought seize. Doesn't have to reveal him to his opponent, does he? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't think so.
Here's that obscure charm. If, uh... Oh, Nox says you do reveal. Gotcha. But yeah, just... Like, obviously, it's really versatile. It's got modes that apply in a bunch of different situations, but it's kind of just that each mode... Like, the first two modes are really kind of like a one mana value effect. And the last mode is like a two mana value effect. And that's just like quite mana efficient and efficient in a format like modern. Although like obviously you take mana and efficiency for versatility, but I don't think that much. <laughs> we do not need Teferi coming back. So Damien down to one card in hand, but a couple of DRCs. Streaming has to win right here, right? I mean, he has an outburst. Yeah, Damien's just sitting on the... Is there a world here? Does he play Omnath? Does he have a, a land? He, I mean... He doesn't have white. So we can't play Omnath first. Yeah. Because my, I mean, my, what I was trying to see was it, could he play to get more permanence? Could he play Omnath, play a land, fetch, and get mana, but he doesn't have white right now to play the Omnath? Uh, if you submitted your deck list for Sunday, I don't know. I think the Google form allows you to edit your submission, but then it'll be stopped. Like, you, after a certain point, it'll be cut off, and whatever you've submitted is what you've submitted. And you have to follow that deck list. And we'll, we're going to print them out. That's going to be your deck list, whatever's on that printout. So, but I would ask that please don't submit your deck list if you have possible changes you're going to be making. Just wait and you can submit it literally the day of the tournament. Okay, so he has endurance to try to buy himself a turn here. Um, but Damien can just drown this. Oh, but then if Damien drowns this, Robert can get this outburst. This is actually a really good line by Robert. But he's dead to one of the two DRCs. Oh, no, because the endurance, you know, endurance is going to talk his graveyard. It resolves. Or one once. But only thing is this glimpse is only going to be for five. If uh, endurance gets countered, so it's pretty unlikely to go crazy, but it could very well could. So I think you, if you're Damien, okay, he's gonna drown. Obviously, knowing what we know, the correct line would be to just let this happen and hit him for two and just continue to hold up Drown and not allow the possibility of a glimpse. It's going to be a small glimpse, though. I mean... It is, but still, you you still just beat this in two turns if you just hold up Drown for glimpse. I think he beats this, though. I mean, String Bean has to find an answer for two. I mean, he could, he could literally just win the game right here, though. <laughs> It's possible. It's, you know, one line for sure pretty much guarantees you win the game, and the other one is a possibility of losing. So, and he's doing it. However, unlikely. Yeah, he's doing it right now while he has endurance. Or, no, the, the counter spell is on the stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> there, there, there. They're, they're, they're getting the stack. the stack. Yeah, I think streaming started to put the endurance in his library, but it's it's on the stack still. See what this five. 
Damien's cutting one card off the top. Okay. That's why I like the version with all the haymakers. You only need to hit one omniscience to win. Yeah. Oh, is that four lands? Oh, wow. That'll Damien, do it. Damien gets it two to one. 